Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and I hear this like all the time. Andrew, your videos are so amazing. How can I embed them in my Shopify store? No one ever tells me that. <laughs> no one ever tells me that. But that's beside the point. You might have a product with a fantastic video and you want to embed that video onto your Shopify store. And that makes total sense. I hear that a lot. So we're going to show you in this video how to do it and how to add it in the code. It's pretty straightforward. There's going to be a link in the description below. If you click on that, there's going to be a document with a step-by-step -step explanation on how you can uh, achieve this. I'm going to follow that with you along uh, because we're going to copy paste some code, etc. And at the end of this video, you're going to have a video on your Shopify store. Now there's there's two little things that I want to note here is that there's kind of two ways that you might want to try to achieve, if that makes sense. First is you might be in a situation where you want to put the same video on all of your products of a specific template. Let's say that um, you want to put the video about your story as a business on all of your products. Well, we're going to show you how to do that. And the other option is you want for every product a specific video. We're going to show you how to do that as well. So let's just jump straight into the code right here. Uh, we are on the demo shop. And if you click on the online store, actually, let's see what it looks like right now. And you will see you can do it yourself. There is absolutely no video um, whatsoever nowhere on this website and we're about to change that so um actually i'm going to go to youtube that's not how you type youtube andrew we're going to go to youtube i'm going to take one of my videos as an example here um Pop, 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 stick with me. No, I'm so tired of hearing my own voice. Uh, okay, so I do a whole bunch of videos. Let's say um, here I explain how the stop expert uh, that I think is amazing is wrong in uh, PHP optimization. Anyway, we're going to take this video and we're going to put it on all of our product pages. So to do that, we're going to go back into the online store right here. And first things first is you want to create a duplicate of your team. So uh, again, this first section is going to be on one video on all of the products, um, not one video per product. Later in the video, it's one video per product. Uh, just check the timestamps down below. Okay, so one video for all of the products. You're going to go into your code, but before that, you're going to have to duplicate your code. So you click on actions right here and you click on duplicate. This is going to create a backup version of your code. Do this 100 million percent. Otherwise, if you mess up stuff here, you're done. You're smoke. Smoked, you baked. What's that expression? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, you're going to um, create a duplicate. Once your duplicate or backup is done, we're going to work on this. This is not the live version, so clients can't see this. You're going to click on actions and you're going to click on edit code. This brings you into the code editor. Um, sometimes it looks a bit scary. Don't you worry. There's a song about that. We're going to jump straight into this. So before we continue, we're going to need the code of the YouTube video. So we're going to click on share right here. Um, and there is an embed factor right here. So we're going to click on embed. You can say that it starts at a specific time if you want to. You can show the player controls or not. Um, a whole bunch of things. If you use Vimeo, it's exactly the same thing, except that you won't see all the Shopify, uh, all the YouTube branding, which might be very interesting, but Vimeo is paid. So, you know, there's pros and cons here. But you're going to take this iframe right here. You're going to select it entirely and you're going to copy. Once that is copied, you're going to go back to your store. So if we look at the editor right here, we're going to paste it on our product template. So we're going to go to sections right here. This is all of our sections and we're going to look for our product section. Um, something product recommendation, product template. There we go. 
And now we're basically going to cop, uh, paste that YouTube code in here. Now, it's kind of going to depend on you where you want your YouTube video to appear inside of your template. Um, if we look at how a product template looks for me, um, I probably want it here somewhere above you you may also like so this is going to depend on you you can kind of do a trial and error because this is on a backup version um let's say that um you definitely don't want to put it in here so as soon as you see this type of code you're way too down so you're going to kind of choose here there is a button that's the add to cart button see see as soon as you see button submit that means that's where the add to cart button is so that's here so you probably wanted to put it a little lower uh, and form so there is a form on your product page that's the form right here um, that gives you the all the variant information but i don't have variants the price etc and the add to cart so that's the form so i probably want to put it below the form um but 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 where could i put this visually hide the data load the, oh here is the product description so that's my product description right here um there is the if section settings the share buttons right here those are my share buttons oh that's getting pretty close um include social sharing and if actually let's put it right here so that's the share buttons so you may also like is the next big section so that's probably the you may also like section so i'm going to put my video by the way you can hit enter as many times it doesn't really matter i'm going to put my video right here so i uh, right click pasted my youtube i do save perfect it is saved um so now let's look i'm going to go back to the online store and if you look here copy of the debut it was last saved just now so let's see how this looks before we put it live for everyone to see so we do actions preview drum roll ladies and gentlemen uh, we go to camera film for example but it should be active on all our things oh and here it is now it's not centered really nicely so here you're going to have to play with your css i could have maybe put it in a different spot maybe right here above the sharing that would have made more sense so let's go back uh, we click actions we do edit code and again this is really you playing around where you want it to be we go into the sections uh, the product dot template liquids yeah that's already open sorry about that we scroll down this was our iframe so uh, we delete it from oh, we delete it and we're gonna paste it again maybe right under the sharing buttons so right here we save it and we refresh it here should appear here there you go that's a little bit better um and that works for me perfect but now it's on all of my products, as I mentioned, and this might not be something that you're interested in. Maybe you just want it on some of your products. Well, let's talk about how you can do that now. So in order to do that, actually, before we continue to that, I just want to note one little thing here is that in the code, it basically says the width of the video, the height of the video. So, oh the width the height of the video and then it goes along explaining um so the source where they get the video from the frame order uh, here autoplay is turned off if you want to you could do autoplay is equal to true so it starts automatically playing uh, but that might be blocked now by modern browsers allow full screen um, 
basically what I'm trying to get at right here is you see these semicolons, so dot, comma, and then with a little bit of information and then dot, comma. Those are all orders that you're passing through on how you want this to um, act and react. So you want it to autoplay, so you would add dot, comma, autoplay is equal to true. true. Uh, you want the sound to be off, you could add that. You want it to not be big screen, you could add that. So these are all commands that you can add um, in the code. And if you want to know specific types of commands that you can add, you can just Google that. Or you can remove some or add some. Um, that's up to you. So I just wanted to demystify what this code was about. But um, okay, let's say that now it's on all our um, all our products and we don't want that. We just want it to be an unspecific products. Well, no worries because we worked on a, a backup team and actually we don't need this anymore So because we changed our mind, so we're removing this. It's going to the garbage um, and this doesn't exist anymore. I wonder if I... Re yep, there we go. It's gone. Um, and there's just this team. So let's say I just want to add it to the camera film. Well, in that case, I go to products. Let's say I go to camera film. And right here, I'm going to click here, show HTML. And then I decide where in the description I'm going to paste um, my code, so I my video. So I suggest you put it at the very end. So I do a couple of enters. I do right click paste. You have the little iframe that's gonna come back with the commands and the description of the height and the width, as I talked about. I just save that right here. And now because I'm making the changes in here and not in the actual code of my theme, um, it's immediately live. So let's close all of this. I click here. And normally there should be a video right here. There you go. But if I go to any other product, the video is not there. So that's another way of doing it. Know that videos do slow down your site um, quite significantly, actually. The better way to do it would be to add a picture. So what would happen is on the page load, we're just loading the picture. And once you click on the picture, then the YouTube video starts loading and showing. That would be a more speed effective way of doing it. It's always balancing the pros and the cons. Um, but that's basically it for how to add a product video or a video to your Shopify store. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this video worked for you let me know in the comments down below if i can be of any help to you and i'm making a whole bunch of other different types of videos all shopify related so make sure to check them out we pour a lot of energy into it and you subscribing would mean the world to us for example we talk about page speed we talk about how important data is we talk about how to define your audience we talk about a whole bunch of things that are really really important while building a shopify store anyway my name is andrew from ecomexperts.io I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Adios!